this toy is most likely to be found in your neighborhood gift shop. It's commonly known as Dippy Bird. You might have come across the toy and would have seen the bird repeatedly sipping water from a container. What impels the bird to do so is a question that puzzles many people. Often mistaken for a perpetual motion machine, the Dippy Bird is actually a heat engine. We will use this toy heat engine as a practical example for understanding a few scientific phenomena. Let us begin by understanding the components of the toy. A glass of water is placed directly in front of the bird. The bird's body comprises of a glass tube that connects two hollow glass bulbs. The bottom bulb forms the bird's bottom and the top bulb forms the bird's head. The head and the beak are covered with a felt cloth for good absorption of water. A red colored volatile liquid that is dichloromethane partly fills the tube as well as the bird's bottom. The empty space inside the body is not occupied by air, instead it is occupied by vapor evaporated from dichloromethane liquid and the body is hinged between the bird's legs. All these components together contribute to the working of the toy. Let us see how. Let us begin from a point in the cycle where the bird is oscillating gently. Here its head is wet because it has already dipped its beak into the water. As the liquid in the tube rises, the top part of the body becomes heavy which makes it swing forward. The beak gets dipped in the water while the end of the tube in the bird's bottom rises above the liquid level. This gives way for vapor bubble to travel through the tube into the head, draining the liquid out of the tube. Thus the bird becomes upright and starts oscillating again. But what still remains unexplained is why the liquid in the tube rises. When the beak comes in contact with the water, the water gets absorbed by the felt cloth. The water rises to the head due to capillary action. As the water evaporates, it slowly cools the bird's head. This process is known as evaporative cooling. Let us briefly understand evaporative cooling. Evaporation is a surface phenomenon. It occurs when a few molecules at the surface gain extra energy from their neighboring molecules. This makes them escape into the space above the liquid. Thus, the high energy molecules escape, leaving behind the low energy ones. This decrease in energy is accompanied by a decrease in temperature of the liquid. In a similar way, the temperature of the bird's head decreases due to evaporative cooling. The decrease in temperature causes a decrease in the pressure exerted by dichloromethane vapor. This leads to a lower pressure level in the head as compared to the bottom. The higher pressure in the bottom slowly pushes the liquid towards the head, thereby causing the liquid to rise through the tube. Thus, the difference in temperatures between the bird's head and the bottom enables the bird to produce mechanical work used for its motion. This is why the bird is considered a heat engine. As you saw, the Dippy Bird is a good toy for learning science, but it teaches us something beyond science as well. It is an excellent example of how keeping a cool head can keep us happily engaged in our work. Thank you.